discouragement. That word discouragement is a killer of destiny. If you are in the middle of discouragement and you don't properly deal with it, it could lead you to sin, fear, doubt, and other negative emotions that can easily stray you away from God. Deal with that discouragement right now. Deal with it. Hello, beloved people. Welcome back to my channel, Woman here. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new, you're welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, it's always a delight to have you back to this channel. My name is Uma, and in today's video, I'll be talking about how to deal with discouragement. But before we jump right into today's video, I just want to say a very big thank you to my wonderful subscribers on this channel. Thank you, beloved people, for always staying connected to this channel and supporting this community. I love you all so much, and I want you to always know that you guys are the most valuable persons on this channel. As always, thank you so much, guys. Keep supporting the community and keep staying connected to this channel. Now, without much ado, let's jump right into the video for today. Yes, how do we overcome discouragement? In the world that is so busy and filled with so much chaos, there's a tendency that at some point you want to get discouraged if you don't you know, manage it and trust them God all the way in those times to be discouraged. One of the reasons you can you know, overcome discouragement is to know that the word discouragement exists, particularly in the kind of uh, world we find ourselves in the situation, the chaos in the, in the world we find ourselves, then you need to know that there is a word like discouragement that exists. Number two is knowing that um, discouragement exists, having that realization of the existence of discouragement, actually important that you do not, in a way, your discouragement, you do not find comfort in the wrong places. Don't go to the wrong people for comfort when you're discouraged. Just keep your trust in the Lord. Rest in God. Let your word, in fact, let your feet and your heart be rooted in God's word. That is the second, you know, way you can get off discouragement. Because the Lord is a comfort to those that come near to Him. And He's a merciful Father. And when you ask God to help you get over certain things in your life that you are having or you find yourself in the middle of at the moment, God is always there. He will never leave you nor forsake you. That is what the Lord said in this word, that he is always by your side. All you need to just call upon Jesus. He's always there. I tell you, the Lord is always there. So that is what you should do when you find yourself in discouragement. Number three is always depend on the Lord in the times of discouragement. There are times that you may even depend on relations, family members. Sometimes they might not be there for you, but that does not mean that you should lose hope. That does not mean that you should lose your focus, which is God. You should lose keeping your gaze on the Lord Jesus. No, no, beloved, do not do that. Let your gaze be fixed on Jesus. If you, if you, if you put your trust in man, definitely they're going to fail you. But God never fails you. The Lord is not a failing God. He is. There is no failure in God. Absolutely no failure in God, I tell you. So let your gaze be absolutely stayed on God. Let your focus be on the Lord Jesus. Discouragement is a destructive tool used by the devil to influence your mind and you know, bring up worries and fears into your life. And you will never give him that opportunity to do so. You need to say no to that. So when the devil creeps in with so much deception, you need to learn to say no to discouragement and focus on God to see you through. Because the point is that when, you, when you're discouraged and you allow the enemy to use you as a, a punching bag, then you're just done for it. You're done. But if you say no to the devil and realize that you are not alone, because one of the fatal lies the enemy will try to tell you is that you are alone, particularly if you have reached out to a few friends or family, you know, to assist you in one thing or the other, whatever it is that is getting you discouraged and they are not there for you. The next thing the devil comes up to do, make you believe that God has forgotten you, to make you believe that you are alone. But you need to let the devil know that you are not alone. So I want to encourage you this moment that you, you keep your focus on God. You realize that God is standing by and he hasn't forgotten you. Like the enemy makes you believe that he has. God has not forgotten you and he will make it worth the time. 
So let your focus be on God. Another way to get off discouragement is to spend time with God. When you spend time with God, you draw comfort from God. You draw strength from God's throne of grace. When I mean spending time with God, it's spending some time of prayer, you know, meditating, worshipping the Lord, you know. You draw strength when you do that. And God, you know, begin to make that same, make you realize his promises concerning your life. Even if you are in the middle of discouragement, in the midst of that discouragement, God ensures that his promises concerning your life, you know, you're going to come alive. And beloved, I want you to know that discouragement is a natural response to challenges of life. And it's quite easy for one to get discouraged, particularly if you don't get that which you're desiring from God or there's something in your heart that you're looking towards achieving. And it, there's a possibility that it makes you discouraged. But I want to believe that from the tips that, you know, we've just talked about, you can, you know, imbibe this in your daily life you know to ensure that even when you find yourself in the middle of discouragement that you don't get to you know worry and allow fear creep in then getting depressed and you know frustrated just to follow the tips like you know we have discussed in this video today and ensure that your focus is on god you spend time with the lord and knowing that discouragement exists you begin to speak and declare god's words concerning you even if you might say it's not easy but you need to do that for yourself and to make yourself strong, knowing that the Lord is with you and he will never leave you nor forsake you. Have you been discouraged if you're watching this video? I'd like you to share your thoughts in the comment section. What were the things you did when you were discouraged? How were you able to come, you know, get over discouragement? I love it if you share it in the comment section just to encourage a loved one out there that reads your, your thoughts, you know. So thank you so much, beloved people, for always staying connected to this channel and supporting this community as always. You guys are the most valuable persons on this channel, like I always say. So please give this video a like, share the video with a loved one, share it with a friend, you know, subscribe to my channel. If you're watching this video and you haven't done that, please subscribe to my channel. Just click the icon, you know, the bell icon, you know, and also the notification bell icon to anybody you get notified whenever I put up videos on this channel. Awesome contents are coming on this channel. Please, you have that opportunity of being one of the first persons to watch those videos whenever they come on. As long as you have your bell icon notification on, then you're good to go. Thank you so much, guys. Till I come your way in my next video, please, guys, stay safe and stay blessed. Ciao.